So here's what I want you to do when you've completed your research. I first want you to fill out your Miracle Workers template form, um, and that's just got biographical information and put in the Wikipedia page if you've got it. And I want you to back up what you put in this template with your sources. So um, I've got here that the source was from the 1981 census, 1911 census. Just back, just put in there that this is where you got that information from. Um, so as you can see, I'm just filling out all of the information I know about Maud, her place of residence at Gretna, her job title at Gretna, her marital status. And I'm also using things like newspaper articles um, and census forms just to back up that. Um, all the uh, things that I'm saying about Maud, um, so where she lived, for example, and what her job was. Um, and as you can see, I'm just source putting my sources, so the newspaper source, um, and making sure that that's all correct, so that if somebody else comes and says, oh, how did you, why do you think that Maud lived here in Gretna? I can say, well, I read it in this newspaper. This is the newspaper that says this is where she lived. I've also got down here references and bibliography, so blogs about an individual and websites about an individual. And Maud luckily has quite a few blogs and websites written about her. So um, I've just popped on Google here and I'm opening up some tabs of websites and blog posts and articles about Maud. And I'm just copying and pasting the URL of those into my document um, just to show that Maud is written about online. And then once I finish that template, I'm going to save it as Bruce underscore Maud Ellen, so Maud's name, and I have just put that in my downloads folder. And then if I go to my downloads folder, you can see that I've got my completed template and all the sources that I used for uh, to construct Maud's life. And I've just created a folder and I'm simply putting all of those sources in that folder so that I have Maud's completed template and all the sources I used to complete that template in one handy place. And then what I want you guys to do after you have done all of this for the individual or theme that you're researching is send that folder and that template to me. And then I want you to put uh, Maud on the database or the individual you're putting on the database. So you just need to fill out this database log uh, with questions about gender, date of birth, names, those kind of things. Um, and yeah, it, don't worry if you don't have a complete date of birth or date of death, just put the first of the first and then the year of visit, you've only got a year. Um, and the same with the death as well. Just put what you know um, and fill it all out and then um, click submit at the end. So um, I, one of the questions I've asked is have you emailed your filled out template over to me and then I've submitted it and then the other thing I want you to do is to log the hours that you've done. So just put in how many hours you've done on what day and what you did in those hours of volunteering and this is just really helpful for our project and for our records for our project. I hope that this guide to what to do with your research has been really helpful. Let me know if you have any questions and I will be happy to answer them.